Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Nate's Suggestions and Ideas. Well, tonight is a very special episode because this is going to be in combination of what's on the menu, Nate, and Nate's Suggestions and Ideas. <clears throat> well, tonight, thank y'all for joining me for dinner. Uh, tonight's menu uh, and subject is different ways to eat sandwiches. <clears throat> well, Y'all probably didn't know that there's many different ways to eat sandwiches. Uh, you can eat them uh, the traditional way and uh, eat them together like most people do. Like most, uh, or should I say, uh, normies do. Like you have your like regular everyday sandwich sometimes. Uh, you can cut them in half, which makes it a little bit easier, or cut them into quarter and cut them into quarters makes it a little bit easier to eat sandwiches. And and uh, you can either dip it in ketchup or whatever dip you like, or just eat it plain. But that's just uh, one way to eat it. Another way. <clears throat> Well, I could say if you see right here, like the top part of the burger is missing, you can take your, uh, say if you got like a fork and knife or so, you can uh, cut it up. Just uh, pick it up like that. And you can eat, and you can eat it in pieces. It's also a good way to, uh, say if you're, uh, Wanting to fold your stomach to make it think it's eating a little bit more. Uh, cut this up, uh, cut it up into pieces, and uh, like you like you do with steak or something like that, and just eat it. Or if you're a messy eater, <clears throat> like uh, sometimes. You can do it the way I like to do it, and <clears throat> I've done this quite a bit. Not my whole life, because everybody thought it was weird this way. You can also take your sandwich apart and eat it piece by piece. Yeah, just taking just like a good bit of this bread that has a bit of tomato and uh, a bit of lettuce on it and pickle or whatever went up. And just eat it piece by piece. Yeah. And forget about the cheese. Too. Mmm. Don't forget about the bacon. You can also eat the bacon in pieces too. Especially how, <clears throat> especially if it comes in pieces individually. Now, if the cheese is melting on the burger, sometimes it can be a little messy. And <clears throat> if some of y'all are a bit sanded, are one of the one of those people that's sanitary and stuff, and it kind of think and and how it kind of gross to uh, lick your fingers. Make sure your fingers are clean before you before you uh, lick them. <laughs> but as I said, that's just that's just one way to eat a sandwich, especially. If it's either a burger or a, a ham sandwich or <clears throat> now uh, now the one sandwich that I can't that I don't eat apart is like a a cheese sandwich because if you're getting if you're eating like a grilled cheese sandwich it's kind of hard to pull it apart and and uh, and eat the bread by itself and then pick the cheese when the cheese has already been melted onto the bread. But if you want to try it a different way, pull the sandwich apart, then you can just have cheese toast, which is also pretty good too. 
Now, uh, <clears throat> other things I would recommend it to, uh, if you're doing, uh, say if you're doing burgers or anything, it's always good to have a nice good soda with it. Because for me, it also helps with digestion. <laughs> but, uh, but as I said, that's just a mini way you can, uh, you can, do, you can eat your, sam you can eat your sandwiches. Now, if y'all decide you want to experiment to be a messy eater, to be a messy eater and you like licking your fingers, especially if they're like covered in barbecue sauce or whatever, whatnot, and you don't want to have to wash your hands, uh, <clears throat> right after you just gotten your fingers messy, then go for it. But if, uh, but that's if it's already cooked and everything. But if, but I wouldn't recommend that if you were like, say, if you're cooking or uh, if the cook, if it's already been, if it's, if you're cooking and it's raw, new, no. I wouldn't, I would not do that. Especially if it's unsanitary, because if you do that, you can also get food poisoning too. If you like, if you were to lick your fingers right after you've handled raw meat. Well, but as I said, that's just a suggestion if y'all want to go that route. And uh, that not also hurt. It also take a little bit of the meat and dip it and take a bite. All right. Y'all have a good night. See y'all.